Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we welcome back Devasish Mukherjee, who is the Vice President for Regional Sales and APAC for Sonic Wall. So, this is our seventh IT Jam with Sonic Wall. And if you watch our previous Sonic Wall IT Jams, you'll know that it is a global cybersecurity company uh, specializing in firewall, network security, cloud security, and more. So, welcome back to the Jam, Devasish. Thank you so much, Nick. And thank you so much for having me here. No worries. Thanks for coming on. Um, so to begin, can you tell me, so there's been some, some cybersecurity trends, obviously, in the last 12 months. Could you tell me what you think um, are some of the most notable trends you've seen? Yeah, I think uh, what we have seen definitely in our world is also aware. And uh, last entire year, probably it was a, a I don't see, I, I don't want to tell that it, it was a challenging year, but I think this year uh, or COVID taught us many things. And I think probably, uh, you know, whatever the cybersecurity, what we have learned and probably, you know, we have never seen such amount of attacks. So multiple things, probably the, it, this industry has learned from uh, COVID in last one year. And we have seen so many things. I think the entire cybersecurity landscape has changed in last one year. So that's what, what we have seen. If, if you ask me the trends, what is going on? I think, you know, multiple things, what we have seen, uh, which like the, the, the ransomware has increased, uh, the, the multiple things, like which is more related to the, probably the environment, probably like for example, the IOT uh, attacks are increasing. So all this, a lot of things has changed, but what I would like to tell here, probably the, the trend which we, we can see in future, probably that is the thing which the industry should see. That whatever attack has happened, the data, everything is visible to uh, all of us, right? And you can see from our observation in threat report. But I think the important thing is what we need to see is what is our learning so, and what exactly we should do. And, and that's what not only Sonic Wall, even the industry experts are also saying. That I think few things are coming up from this learning. One is uh, the organizations or the customer should think about a centralized policy management and the orchestration not, and they should not see the in silos. And then the vision of access of you know, user from anywhere to, uh, or any, anywhere to every, uh, everywhere uh, is now reality. And we know that we can give that kind of solutions through the solution like boundless cybersecurity. Remote work is here to stay. And we have seen that now people are working from home from last one year and it will be a new norm. So definitely this will be remain as a, a new norm. Uh, more regulatory focus because the more attacks then definitely organization will focus on more regulatory at, uh, regulate, uh, regulations and definitely the IT's role will be more important. So we will see more uh, IT centric CISO will be the part of board member. And the last is not least is more of a security consolidation. What we see is that now customers should not look into a silos uh, from a different best of breed, which is a normal practice. Rather customers should look from a single vendor and consolidated approach. And that's what will be the future uh, looks like. Right, yeah. Um, you did mention ransomware as one of your um, top trends. Uh, so, yeah, that's obviously been a big one um, in the last couple of years. Yeah. So in your view, what states, what countries, what industries, companies were hit the hardest by ransomware? Yeah, so overall, globally, what we have seen is uh, ransomware has increased 62%. And if you see the order, it is from America, then South, Af uh, South Africa, I think, you know, surprisingly, the second, then came is uh, Europe, and, and then the Asia, right? But if you see the number of growth, the Asia has grown more than 400%. So this is the number as such. So I can give you a couple of examples. For example, last year in January, we have seen riots, right? We used to see one attack per day. In September, we have seen one attack per eight seconds. So you can well imagine that what kind of advanced threats or advanced attack is started happening, and especially in, in ransomware. One more interesting thing which we have noticed now, uh, there is uh, the two kind of ransomware, which is more of uh, named is Exorcist and Erika. So that has been a interesting, what I would like to highlight, probably this is giving a state of heaven, right? So th this is 
excluding a couple of countries and attacking other countries. So a lot of interesting things are happening in, in ransomware. And definitely it is you know, more sophisticated. And now we all know that we have seen ransomware as a services. So it's more getting more professionalized business for cyber criminals. Right, yeah. Um, so supply chain attacks and other nation state attacks are also on the rise. What, in your view, is the best way to combat uh, these sorts of attacks? Definitely, this will be, uh, it will grow. And uh, the reason of uh, growing is, is a, this is the best way of, you know, what, what exactly the cyber criminals are trying to do. They are, their objective is to maximize evasiveness, right? They want to hide and reach out to the customer and they can get access to customer data, right? That's the, that's the objective. With this objective, I think the supply chain attack is the best medium because like what we have seen in the solar wind or ion, right? Where uh, this, this has been used as a vector and then it is getting as a, as a software update so that user will definitely accept this and it will get access to the, uh, the user's uh, credentials, right? It's more of a trojanized uh, attack. So this will be, and, and this number of attacks, what we have seen is huge. So this will be the definitely the new way of attacking, or we will see more such similar type of attack. And as far as the, the nation uh, uh, you know, uh, funded or uh, attacks, what we have seen is yet, this is also increasing, especially during the COVID time, what we have seen is uh, multiple such countries are attacking more of an or and the organization, what those who are doing or developing uh, the drugs related to COVID, right? So that's what, what we have seen. And if you see that what I just mentioned, that exhaust is Canerica, this is our state funded because you are excluding certain states. So it's, it's very clear, right? That these are all state funded uh, attacks. Right, yeah. And one other thing that you also mentioned was remote working. So changing subject again. Um, so obviously that's presented many different security challenges and, and we have talked about this before in other IT jams with Sonic Wall, but now that we're so far down the line, how can organizations prepare for a future of remote working this year and beyond? Can you repeat? Sorry, I, I missed your question. So um, how can organizations prepare for a future of remote, remote working beyond oh, this year? Oh. So uh, remote working, as I said, uh, you know, it will be it will be a new norm. And what we have seen, uh, the the moment the COVID started, uh, you know, happening, and from employees, uh, almost at seven percent remote employees, or seven percent worldwide, uh, then seven percent increased to close to maybe uh, 70, 80 percent. So majorly, almost every every employee started working work from home. But even if we are coming out from COVID, and that's what many countries are you know, coming out of uh, COVID, still what we see is it will be a new norm. Even if you go by uh, the recent update from uh, Gartner, even Gartner also said that you know, almost 200% uh, percent organization is you know, trying to uh, focus on work from home. So this will be, uh, this will be the, the new norm. And definitely, uh, we have to start working and protecting those work from home employees. So this will be definitely this is, is going to stay. And I think my suggestion or the key takeaways, what I would like to tell all my customers, you know, do not ignore work from home. Same time, let's start focusing on protecting your remote employees. We have solutions available, and you know, we can give you all these protections, all those suggestions, like that's what is our boundless cybersecurity is all about. Right. Oh, I have definitely. answered your question. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you. Um, well, yeah, that's all I have for you today, Devasish. So thank you for coming on. That was uh, the Sonic Wall Vice President for Regional Sales and APEC, Devasish Mukherjee. Thanks for joining me again today. Thank you so much.